Why have many rapids in Cataract Canyon failed to return? Yeah, three men from Moab have made it their crusade to study a, or to study a stunning after effect of Lake Powell, a monumental legacy of mud. Science and nature specialist John Hollenhorst has a story. Meet the three-man crew of the Returning Rapids Project. Mike DeHoff, a welder by trade, a man on a mission. It's just a personal curiosity that's grown into this big old mess of a project. Pete Lafave, a river running guide who worships whitewater. Getting splashed in the heat of the summer and running through the roller coaster ride of the rapids. It's just a, a good old time and a lot of fun to be had. And Chris Benson, a government geologist with a keen interest in long lost rapids, the big ones Cataract Canyon is famous for. Scary. Yeah, people were very scared of this rapid. And now today it's a tranquil scene. It's one of many rapids that disappeared under the waters of Lake Powell. But today, we can go up the Colorado River through 30 miles of canyons where the lake used to be. It's now a river again. For years, the crew has been studying a frustrating and fascinating problem. Everything got exposed, but rapids weren't coming back. In terms of major ones, there's at least 15 major rapids gone right now. And then a bunch of other smaller ones that weren't as consequential. Oh, we need to go upstream more. They've been there. comparing today's Cataract yeah. Canyon with old photos. Get one over here. Collecting data on river levels, running small rapids that once were big. What they're documenting is a river fighting its way down through an enormous deposit of mud left behind by Lake Powell. Moving water carries sediment, still water can't carry sediment, and so when you put a dam in the way of the Colorado, that sediment drops out, and it all dropped out in Cataract Canyon. The deposit of sediments buried dozens of miles of river. It's 35 to 40 miles long, 50 to 130 feet deep. Cutting down through it, the river is leaving towering cliffs of dried mud, some 100 feet high or so but the rapids are slow to recover. Right here a long time ago, there was a rapid, the Dark Canyon Rapids, but now what you see is a big pile of dried mud and flat water, not like the old days. But like the famous Gypsum Canyon Rapid, uh, this rapid is gonna get bigger and bigger. The old roller coasters are slowly coming out to play. Five to six major rapids. So this would be our sixth one coming back. And these are hold on tight, Big fun, big rapids. The old Cataract Canyon and its inhabitants are making a comeback. The rapids and also some beaches and big native trees are starting to grow back too. The beaver population has skyrocketed. The three investigators produce a river guide each year to answer the questions of river runners. What are the rapids doing? Do you need a motor to get out? Is there current? What do the camps look like? It's amazing how much it's come back since this one. But there are more fundamental questions for the future. What if nature makes more water available? Pretty impressive how far it's carved huh. back. Will humans decide to refill Lake Powell? And I think that we're gonna get faced with a similar decision that was made when the dam went in is, what resources are we gonna prioritize and what resources are we gonna sacrifice? Ready for a push? We get to talk about some of those decisions again. Meanwhile, the muddy Colorado is doing its best to move all that mud downriver and into what's left of Lake Powell. John Hollenhorst, KSL 5 News, Cataract Canyon.